Hello and welcome. This is Julie Kay with some handmade Christmas embellishments that I created for a junk journal swap. I have a few embellishments to share with you that I created for a swap in a Facebook group and we were to create um, Christmas embellishments that we could use in junk journals and so it was left up to us to interpret what we wanted to do. Just the rules were that they had to be bigger than two by two and of course be able to be used in a junk journal and they had to be either Christmas or um, winter themed and I kind of went with Christmas just because I was digging out all of my Christmas papers to create some cards for the holiday. And so here's what I ended up creating. Um, first of all I did um, create this little mini loaded envelope um, just because I wanted to try the pattern out for another swap I was in and I thought it'd be a cute idea to be able to put all of my embellishments in it. Um, so it's just kind of a basic um, basic loaded envelope, I guess. Um, and then I also used, um, for a lot of my um, decorations in here, I did use some of this paper right here by Canvas Court. Um, and it was some paper that I received from Sandy, who is Decorate Your Life for my birthday and I had a couple sheets that matched this from the same brand but from a different paper pack and then I also used some Christmas scraps that were in my collection to create everything in here so I'm just gonna pull out what I created and we were to create when I just looked up the rules today it said eight embellishments um, and originally I thought it said ten so I did create, I think, at least 10 for, for the person I'm swapping with. But I did create some of my little teacups and then I ended up, or teapots, and I ended up putting them on some punched out circles just to make sure that I met the two by two requirement because these were two inches at least across but not this way. So I just added them on to the little die cuts that I had here. I think they turned out really cute. I added the little... Um, flat back pearl sprays there with some little tags that said fa la la and ho 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 I also created a little ornament tag and the rubber stamp that I use on the inside is a hero arts one it's from an old set um, that I had and then I created this one also just out of some paper scraps and then I just left it plain just thinking that she could glue it on top of a page and it could be a tuck spot in her journal but you could easily um, just fold over a piece of paper and add a paper clip to make it into a paper clip if she wanted to um, and so that's kind of what that little loaded envelope looks like and then there's a few things on the inside so I created another little, I don't know if she can use it as a tuck spot or a layering piece, but it just says I'm dreaming of a white Christmas and I used a die cut for my collection for that one. And then also again another little either tuck spot or she could put glue on three of the sides and make it into a pocket. Um, but just another little embellishment with die cuts and a poinsettia for my collection. I created a couple more tags. like how both of those turned out and I had a couple little um, candy treat bags or glassine bags that were decorated with you know the red and the snowflakes here um, so I just decorated those up with a little journaling card I had that said let it snow and put some eyelash trim behind it and then I did stuff it with um, just a couple more little journaling cards that were from that paper collection that um, she'll be able to use however she wants in a journal then I created this bag also it's a little bit larger again with cutouts from the paper collection some eyelash trim um, I think I got this from element from Carmen whose elemental designs this gold one which is really pretty I'm keeping my eye on the gold eyelash trim at Hobby Lobby hoping um, that one of these times when I go there it'll be on sale so I can pick up a skein of that one then I stuffed a couple things inside this um, bag also I created um, just a pair of skates with some die cuts that I had for my collection and so I added those in there I did create a little 
paper clip for her. And on the back of this one, I did leave, I didn't glue this down yet so that she could reverse this if she wanted to and have the paper clip go the other direction. So that's, I left that open. Um, but that was the paper clip I created. And I just used some Spellbinders dies for that. And then, of course, I added a few more um, just of the journaling cards that she could use however she wanted. And so those are all of my little embellishments um, for the swap. So I think I met the requirement to have at least eight, I guess. Um, so thanks, everybody, for watching.